for our alternative uh, seafood assignment or alternative seafood survey assignment focused on collecting additional data about the species we've been encountering, you'll find this data file and it lists the species that we've encountered so far in our surveys. So right here we have the common name in this column and then we have the taxonomy here, phylum, class, order, etc. You notice that some species have a, uh, we understand the, the species here, and others we just know the genus, and in others we might only know <clears throat> the family or even less in the case of this butterfish. Regardless, you are going to use the best, um, the highest resolution taxonomy you can to fill out this range of responses over here. I've listed the different websites up at the top here where you can find this information. So you can go ahead and click that link and then um, paste into the, the search window or the dialog box or what have you. Um, in this case, it would be uh, Seriola uh, landi, which is amberjack yellowtail. So I'll go in there. In the case of MSC, if we check out MSC, What we find when we search for something, now we might search for the species, we might not find anything in the case of MSC. And so notice here we're saying um, there's no MSC option at all. There's an MSC, yes would be um, that there is indeed a, a that this item has a C, an MSC certified option. If it doesn't, maybe there's a genus that we could substitute. So the same genus, but um, uh, not not that species, or perhaps there's a sub, there's an alternative we could use that's a family, an assessment of an, another fish from that family or order, etc. And so then I went ahead and filled this out. In this case, um, these two here had uh, no MSC option. Um, however, there was a previously certified, at some point in time, there was an MSC certification that's been revoked. So I noted that. In the case of this option here, the Pacific Anchoveta, there wasn't a um, option for this particular species, but there was an MSC certified option for a different member of that genus. And so I went ahead and put the word genus in there. Um, same thing with regard to Seafood Watch. So Seafood Watch, again, you can go ahead and, and search, type in an organism's uh, name, either you can use the common name or you can use, best to use the Latin name, and then you'll get a response here. And as typical, you'll get a range of responses. Avoid, avoid. Avoid. These are all the different options, right? Based on how it's how it's harvested and or the location where it's being harvested from. So in this case, 100% of the options are to avoid. So when I come back over here to my data sheet, um, I would come up to here and I would say um, avoid. Boom. Um, now, in the case of this guy, we see that we see that we have some cases, again, some methods, some locations. They're a best choice. We also have some good alternatives, and we also have some avoids. So I'm going to fill that one out by, if it, if it was just a single response, I would put that single response, best, good, avoid, etc. In this case, I put a range of best to avoid. In the case of OceanWise here, this search engine is similar to MSC. I can go ahead and type in the seafood item I'm looking for. And uh, again, I have a range of possible responses based on harvest method and location. Um, they go from good to bad. 
And so I'm going to click through these various options, and there's going to be a scoring. For wild caught fish, this will be a, a maximum of, or a range of from 0 to 5. For farmed rays, it'll go from 0 to 10. So I'm going to look at this number 3.42. I'm going to scroll through all the different options here and ultimately figure out what the range is in this case. So we, because we, there isn't a single number, we have to report the ranges. So in this case, um, it's the low to high in terms of the wild caught. That's, that's this column. And the farmed score is going to range from 1.13 to 6.19. Uh, in the case of this um, anchoveta, there was actually no values in here. So in these cases, I just put in question mark, I don't know. <clears throat> I can also check the amount of mercury that's in uh, or, or potentially in these fish. So this is a compilation of some data that was collected about six years ago. We're looking for the, the average here. And so if we find the average for our organism or our similar organism, it could be, you know, another family, uh, another representative of the family or whatever, we get the average. That average goes in this column here. Uh, then the last one we'll do, uh, you notice there's several different options. But these are all coming from one dialog box. This is fish base. Now, all these other ones, these will work for all the possibilities, uh, all, the, all the seafood items we have. In this case, with fish base, this is only going to work for our fish. So for um, clams and shrimp, we won't be able to use, uh, won't be able to collect this data, at least from this website here. And so for fish base, you can type in fish base, you'll get this dialog. Again, come back search the species. Um, now I can I can search the common name here, but better to do genus and species right here if we have it, because it'll be a more precise search. And here we go. Get all kinds of cool data. The data you're going to use, if you scroll down to the bottom here, it's the data in this area. So phylogenetic diversity index, this PD50 is this number right here. Uh, trophic level, 4.2, etc. So we're going to go and fill out all of these uh, variables. Um, fill them all out, which are all in that, that area right there. And at the very end, there's this issue of IUCN. Now you can search for IUCN on the IUCN website itself, or if you can look at fish base. Um, and so, for example, that is located right here. So in this case, this species is a least concern. And so I'll just go fill that out. Um, most of the options I've listed for you are right above here. Um, and uh, and to, to tell you what, what uh, you know, I'm looking for in this thing, I've, obviously I've done the first three, first three rows for you, so you get an idea of what we're looking for. And uh, again, the links to the databases are above. So you need to fill out all of these um, and submit this as your um, alternative for going to a restaurant or market. Thanks, you guys.